Please welcome, she's really excited, please welcome Phyllis Warren. Let's hear it for yourselves for coming out tonight. I want to hear it. Okay. I think we already established I'm not 25. But in cat years, I'm only 14. But before I start my routine, I gotta tell you something happened before when we were parking our car. I overheard a woman tell her friend. Old people have a spell. <laughs> well, sure we do. Mine is beer and marijuana. <laughs> is this a ganji crab? Can I hear it? Is it a ganji? No, not a ganji crab? Yes! Yeah. Okay, that's Can I tell you, I Jew in Marajou. shopping with me if I'm stoned because last week we were in Food City, we passed the toy exhibit, I grabbed a teddy and went, Daddy, please. I was sitting right in the car too, okay. But let me tell you guys where I'm coming from. I'm on the cusp of see-through panties and depends. Oh. <laughs> and everybody went, oh. And you know, some women have so much trouble with aging, they'll put anything on their face if they think it'll make them look younger. My girlfriend uses Preparation H on her face. Yeah. Preparation H? What if her date says, gee, hon, you look great, but what's that smell? <laughs> Wouldn't you feel like an asshole? <laughs> oh, listen, listen, as, as you get older, it's really important to keep a good attitude about sex. Because there's a lot you can do to bring sex into your old life. Like uh, vibrating walkers, <laughs> wheelchairs with built-in dildos, and of the bags that play soft music. If you ever overhear two old people having sex, you don't know whether to congratulate them or call an ambulance. Look <laughs> for my fucking water. The high. Okay. But it's not aging that bothers me. It's my infrastructure is breaking down. Like, I passed a store that had a sign, Video Rental Special. Only, I thought it said Video Rectal Special. <laughs> I thought it might be a gay thing, like a memento or something. And I asked, the, I asked the manager of the store, and he asked me to leave, but not in those words. What he actually said was, get the fuck out of here, you perverts. Woo! Yeah. And oh, wait till you hear this one. I signed up for Kundalini Yoga. Woo! Why? Why? I thought it said Kundalingus Yoga. <laughs> Does everybody know what Kundalingus means? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, you should have seen their faces when I showed up in my crotchless pants. Join us. We all had our clothes off a little while ago. If you want to get undressed. <laughs> anyway. But I'm not so happy about the changes in my body. Like my boobs are sagging. Yes, my cups runneth over. I used to be a 34B. Now I'm a 34 long. I've seen guys at the beach with more uplift than me. And when I say my boobs are going south, I'm not talking about uh, Miami Beach. Right about now, they're crossing the equator. <laughs> it's not so bad in the winter because they keep my knees warm. I don't even know where my nipples are. I haven't seen them in a month. Now, some women can wear stretch bras. 
I had to get a winch. <laughs> but, oh, 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 and just to make my day complete, this morning I read, as a woman ages, her vagina drops. Well, I guess I'll have to date shorter guys from now on. <laughs> Young guy. I don't want you guys to get uppity about this because gravity is not your friend either. You know what happens to Mr. Testicles? <laughs> Ground ball. Anyway, but it's not all bad news. I got to create the signature drink for seniors. It's equal parts vodka and prune juice. We call it the plunger. <laughs> Listen, you young girls, you can't relate to what I'm saying. You get up off a chair and everything gets up with you. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I get up off the chair, I have to take inventory. Uh, oh, I left my behind, behind. Uh, so, um, let me tell you a little background. I grew up in a typical Jewish family. My grandmother's last words were, take a sweater. <laughs> my father, my dad, never met a woman he didn't like, except for my mother. <laughs> oh, she, she made him pay for it. For 40 years, she overcooked his dinner. Now me, I was the rebel. I felt my family lacked diversity, so I got engaged to a goat. <laughs> but my parents wouldn't let me marry him because he wasn't Jewish. That never gets a laugh, but I like it so much. You know? It's such a good, it's such a good. Anyhow, it was a nuclear family. Someone was always blowing up. And you couldn't call it an upbringing. It was an updragging. I never got to know my mom. Because when I was just a little kid, she said she had a surprise for me. It was a restraining order. Aww, Aww poor Phyllis. <laughs> anyway, so um, actually I'm really off tonight. I don't know if it's, if it's apparent. But I saw something the other day that really threw me. Did you ever see an uncircumcised penis? <laughs> oh, God! He has one. I knew you related to that. Right. It looks like the Cape Crusader. I didn't know whether to say fuck me or save me. Last night I was so stressed I was going to masturbate. But I got a headache. Now let me see, who here doesn't masturbate? Da 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 da. Okay, great. We can all go blind together. My, my girlfriend is a therapist, and she says there's nothing wrong with masturbation because it takes off the edge. Sometimes it takes off the skin. <laughs> he knows about that. He knows. <laughs> I think the only thing wrong with it is it gets boring. It's kind of like, oh... It's you again. I, I tried vibrators, but I'm really no good with machines. I put it in auto reverse and ended up buffing my teeth. <laughs> my girlfriend says she has a talking vibrator. I can't imagine what it would say. A little to the left. Was it good for you? Anyway, I can remember my very first vibrator. I bought it, brought it home, used it with a little oil. The damn thing heated right up. I put a stir fry on there. I mean, isn't that dangerous? I could see the headline now. Local comic found in fire, found with charred vibrator in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so let me ask, you guys seem like a savvy group. Like, you know that size doesn't matter, unless you want to have intercourse. 
Like I've been observing penises for like 50 years. I'm 51. And I'm still fascinated. I'm not saying they're pretty, but they are entertaining. Girls, will you back me up with this? When guys walk around naked, with all that bouncing and bobbing, <laughs> tell me it's not a puppet show. Tom, guys! I love that guy. Jesus I'll talk Christ. to you later. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway. So last night, my husband does one of these. I said, what? He said, my balls are sticking to my penis, and I have to rearrange. Sounds like he's moving furniture, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, is this a big problem with you guys? You never heard of Pam? <laughs> Pam for penises? Hey, James, Do you ever wonder if one of the balls is the alpha ball, like he's in charge? Oh, oh. oh. No love, the cramp in my style. <laughs> anyway, I'm nearly at the end of my routine, and I always like to say a brief word about oral sex. More. <laughs> and, and girls, and girls, here's a way to encourage your your dates or your partners to give you oral sex. Douche with vodka. <laughs> it works. It's very, very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm a big fan of oral sex, but I, I, I know, I look at myself and I say, how much time do I have? So I decided to get a tattoo on my labia. Raise your hand if you don't know where the, you know where the labia is? <laughs> he says, yes. I'll test you afterward. <laughs> I'm getting a tattoo on my labia, and it's going to say, Best of Eaten by 2022. <laughs> but I have a last question, because you're a savvy group, okay? Maybe you can tell me, why can't you guys make some sounds during sex? Oh, Are we supposed to create the whole soundtrack? Oh, <laughs> Couldn't you at least cough? <laughs> yes, sir. Crack your fucking knuckles. <laughs> and when you do come, could you please let us know? Like a tap on the shoulder? Maybe a fax? No, no. I've got it. A postcard. I've arrived. <laughs> Having a wonderful time. Wish you were here. Thank you very much.